Praise the Lord. Yeah. All right. So I'm so excited about what's been happening. And uh, we had a, a very uh, encouraging service last Sunday in, <laughs> yeah, in, in Jamestown. A couple of you ladies came up to Jamestown and um, we had some guest speakers, uh, you know, ladies uh, sharing their testimony. By the way, I'm going to put that on our our home page, uh, our website as well. And I would encourage people to watch them because they're, they were pretty powerful. And we saw the Holy Spirit just 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 move and nobody wanted to leave. The, the meeting went for like four and a half hours. And uh, <laughs> there was people getting getting filled with the Spirit, getting baptized, uh, filled with joy, dancing and singing. It was it was really super awesome. And um, the Lord, I believe, is is put it on my heart to talk about that a little bit and uh, and to promote what we're doing here. Again, we've been preaching on the season that we're in. We're in the we're in the the days where Jesus is. Please hear this. He is raising up the church. Hosea chapter two. I mean Hosea chapter six. I think. Let's go look at that real quick. Hosea and. Um, want to encourage people is it six or four I think it's four no it is six, six. sorry everybody <laughs> yeah yeah it's after um, mm -hmm. after two days he will revive us in a third day he will raise us up we shall live in his sight and then we shall know if we follow on to know please hear that the Lord his going forth is prepared as the morning that's a word and I'm I'm trying to encourage people because we're literally living in a time where the handwriting's on the wall literally we're seeing so much fulfillment of biblical prophecy and time converging and is producing events on this earth and it says, then we shall know if we follow on to know the Lord His going forth is prepared as a morning and he shall come unto us as the rain, as a ladder in a former rain. And so what's going to happen in, in, in this coming? He's coming to us in the clouds. He's coming uh, in a way that a lot of people aren't expecting him to come. But there it is in scripture. He also said that uh, before going to the cross. He said, hereafter, you're going to see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. And uh, we saw him come on, this, on the, day of Pente the, the day of Pentecost, Acts chapter 2. How many believe we're still in that season? And I believe we're, we're going to see a greater outpouring than ever before. And the Lord, when he comes in this outpouring, he's going to be raising people up those that are hungry, those who are thirsty, those who are willing to to press through and to go for it, they're going to be raised up. What's going to happen to the others? And uh, and so I want to encourage people. <laughs> the Lord is moving. We had an encouraging uh, meeting in Elk Grove. These are spontaneous uh, things that the Lord has led us to do. I know other people are experiencing some increase too. And uh, it was just a full house. Sunday we had an encouraging meeting in Jamestown. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go back this Sunday and have expectation. And uh, my friend Daniel Pontius and I are gonna team up. So please, if you want to come Sunday afternoon, come on up. And this Saturday, I felt unctioned by the Holy Spirit to hold a, 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 a you know, a Pentecostal outpouring service in Stockton. I don't know what's gonna happen. But you ladies are leading worship, so we'll find out, huh? Praise the Lord. But there seems to be a stirring of the Lord. And uh, I don't want to miss it. And I'm just trying to encourage people. You know, this is a season where the Lord is raising up his church. And he does it in, in various ways. Praise the Lord. And uh, we're going to be building on a little bit of revelation here on, on the new creation. Hallelujah, the new creation is a big deal. When you connect to 
the power of the new creation, I'll say it that way, you're going to have some wherewithal to deal with some circumstances. And, uh, and there's a way to get into this realm. It's uh, just so sad. So many people have been so discouraged, you know, because of, a, 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 you know, what they perceive to be unanswered prayers in the past. There's a lot of misconception about the Word of God and, and you know, if God will heal me and this and that. But the Word is very clear. He is the same. Hebrews 13, 8, yesterday, today, and forever. I was praying with a lady out of state this week and she was just so discouraged and fighting with cancer and fighting with um, sugar diabetes and, uh, and oppression and abuse as a little child from Satanist and crazy things just coming against her and and uh, I started talking to her about getting into a church and she and she had something to say about the church as well and because so many people apparently have hurt her in, in different groups I don't know where they are you know but you know what we're, we're called to love one another and if you've been hurt in a church and you're not going to church anymore let me encourage you, do not forsake the assemblings of yourself together. You know, it's a scriptural thing. We need to get into the atmosphere of that corporate anointing and fellowship with our brothers and sisters. And there's lots of good churches out there. I can, I can name off a whole bunch of them that aren't our church, you know. And, and I hope to think that we're, we're growing and inspiring church as well, you know. But, uh, but there's so many people that that won't go for whatever reason and she's disappointed and so I started and so what what I'm saying here is there has been something that's developed in her mindset concerning church and whether or not God will heal and and uh, and and she's not getting into the word and so many people fall into that category because of pressure and oppression and various circumstances anybody know what I'm saying but uh, the word says you know <laughs> You will reap if you do not faint, right? And uh, we, there's a season for these, uh, these seeds, these words, that, these promises God has given us. And, uh, you know, we will reap in due season, it says. Every one of those promises in the scripture, you know, they're yes and amen. And they can connect you to, uh, you know, his divine nature and transform you. And that's what we were touching on last week 